really early if we've got a verdict. Uh, it looks like they're standing up. It could be a question. All right, let's go into the courtroom right now. Judge Gregory A. Adams. I have whatever you have, but I, I have I have an alternate way to do it now. If you if you turn it off. Wait a minute. I I understand. I'm just relaying. What, what yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. So I I I, I will. It doesn't 
say C, but what A says, can we receive? 63, 63, B, B, 28, 10. I understand what you just said, but that's not what I'm going to respond to what people have. Of course, they'll say no, because I, technically they have them already in their possession. Yes. So what this says is, can we receive, that's why we always read it, multiple times to the Lord, can we receive clip 63, A, 63, B, December 28, 2010, energy? That's what it says. Yes, yeah, so, what, so, so I, I guess. Perhaps I'm confused. What is, what is it that you're looking for? I'm going to give you a position. Because the court's going to tell them yeah. they have them already. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm going to tell them. Yeah. If that's the court, okay, that's right. As I said, I, I'm saying yeah. I'm saying yeah. always respond to the communication that is provided directly from the jury. Yes, sir. And as far as the request to eject the DVD, the ask will be no. Because I'm not going to give them a projector. That's what it says, projector. It doesn't say player. Yeah. Anything else for mistake? No, sir. From the defense? No, sir. All right. Deputy Garrett, if you would bring them out, please. Reads, can we receive center code clip 63A, 63B, December 28, 2010? Energy. You have that already. Can we receive highlighters, projector, <coughs> DVDs? No, well, you can have highlighters, but no projector for DVDs. Yes, This, I'm not sure if Lloyd, this one just came out, but I can read this to the Lord. You can hear it as it goes through. Can we receive semicolon page markers, which is sticky arrows, and tissues? I'll go ahead and tell you, yes, I will send out page markers, and tissues will be provided. When you say tissues, you mean Kleenex tissues? Yes. You mean, okay. Well, <laughs> yes, Kleenex tissues will be available. Um, so that will be available in those type of... Um, Meetings will be made. But it, yes. Matter of fact, that the gear you saw <laughs> that they have my box here. Okay. At this point in time, I'm going to direct you to turn to the jury room and continue your deliberations. As I indicated earlier, um, your lunch will be between 12 and 1. Let me go ahead and give you these instructions now. Uh, so, unless there's another communication from the jury, I uh, wouldn't have to bring you back out. But I will tell you, once you go to lunch, even if you decide to go to lunch together, do not discuss the case outside of the jury room. When you go to lunch, that room will be secure. No one will enter that room. Leave your notes in that certain place now. The evidence will be secure also. Do not discuss the case outside the jury room. So do not go to a restaurant or sit outside. Even if you decide to go into a group, do not sit outside discussing the case. Still, do not sit near anyone who may be discussing the case outside of the jury room. Once you go to lunch, do not remain upon the fifth floor because I don't want you to interact with anyone you should not interact with. I don't want you to hear anything you should not hear. 
Do not read or look at any media coverage pertaining to this case. Do not go upon the internet and do any research about this case. Do not blog about this case while it is ongoing. <coughs> Excuse me. Do not go to any location that may have been made reference to at this point in time. You have the evidence that was introduced in the course of the trial and your collective notes and your collective memories. You're more than welcome to bring something to the snack and I'll eat with you uh, during the afternoon session. Do not consume any alcoholic beverages during the lunch break. Deputy Garrett, uh, at 12 noon, will turn back over to your cell phones, smartphones, iPhones, and collect those back up from you at the conclusion of your break. Uh, this put them in all position. Do not receive any communication, text messages, email messages, or any email messages, excuse me, about this case while it is ongoing. As I mentioned to you several times, the lawyers and the parties cannot talk or interact with you. Um, and I never, I don't want you to think that being rude or discourteous at any time. Um, now you can come back early for lunch and we'll accommodate you with that, but that would, the, your break is from 12 to 1. I give you any additional instructions at that point in time. Any communication with the court must be reduced to writing. I will uh, some of the lawyers and talk with them, and then I will give you instructions at that point in time. All right. But like I said, I'm going to respond to what is written. I don't try to interpret. I don't try to read. It's just what is written. All right. But I will read anything that is communicated. But as that was written, those are my responses. Follow the instructions that we here. And those are the tissues that we know. I'm Jeff Hellinger along with Jessica Gable, the Associate Professor of Law at Georgia State University in their College of Law. So the jury comes back in, they have some requests. Does that give us any indication of a time frame as far as their decision goes? Well, it tells us they're in it for the long haul. I mean, they're asking for some pretty basic provisions, tissues, page markers. Uh, in addition to, they want to view some DVDs. So they're going through every piece of that indictment. They're reading their jury instructions. And it, it really appears that they're going to be there for a while. And they've already talked about they're breaking for lunch and they're going to come back after that. So th this is going to be a, a probably an all-day thing. And it could go longer than that. Remember, this is a 13-count uh, indictment. So there's a lot for for the jury to weigh. We are looking at the uncle of Andrea Snyderman. He is from Philadelphia. He is the brother of Andrea's mother, Bonnie Greenberg, and he has been here for the duration of this trial and uh, is the only one uh, behind Andrea Snyderman, at least at this juncture, at uh, 1037. So the jury now has left the courtroom to deliberate behind closed doors. Judge Adams has called the attorneys to parley in front of him why do that with the jury out of the room closing arguments have been made why the purpose of this sort of this discussion that is uh, behind uh, uh, you know kind of quiet so the the first part of it the the judge will call the lawyers in they'll be outside the presence of the jury the judge will inform the lawyers as to the requests that the jury has made or if they have, are asking any questions about the jury instructions or the indictment itself uh, and, and that time, it, it gives the lawyers an opportunity to formulate either their responses to those questions or requests, and then the judge will bring the jury back in and either provide further instruction um, or uh, l let them know sort of what, what's going on in the decisions that have been made. All right, back into the courtroom now. Still having technical difficulties. Sir, I was never having problem. It was oh, you never had problems. Okay. No, no, no. It, it was it was the in-house system that had the problem. I I'm I'm feeding off of you guys. So when you turned it on and you was getting that buzz, but you're good now. I I believe now it's fine. That's all right. I just wanted Brad to know exactly what the problem was so he could address it. <laughs> Okay. Well, 
Come on in, ladies and gentlemen, make yourself comfortable. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen, make yourself comfortable. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen, make yourself comfortable. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen, make yourself comfortable. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen, make yourself comfortable. As you probably can tell, the air conditioning is working much better, at least on this side. All right, lawyers and buddies may be seated. It's, is that everyone? Yep. That's, I want to make sure everybody's present and accounted for. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, viewing DVD. All right. Let me respond this way, although normally I don't try to interpret these, but I will. I will not be able to send back a unit with you there to jury room. However, if you would like to view something, it will have to be done here at open court with all the lawyers and the parties present. What you're going to, if that's what you want to do, I'm not telling you what to do. It's up to you. You can look at whatever you want to look at. Um, but what you're going to have to do is communicate in written form, and I will talk with the lawyers what exactly you're asking to view. And the equipment will be located, and that will be played. It may be played for you. I listen to the request first. But any viewing is going to take place in here. And as I don't normally interpret, I just read exactly what's here, but we were like a method of viewing DVD. All right. So you can go back into the jury room, and if you want to communicate with the court, Write down what you want to communicate, and I'll be right here. Follow the instructions, Deputy Garrett. Did you get and I think the flags were set there. You may be sitting. Any objection from the state? No, sir. From the defense? No, sir. None whatsoever. Right. Lawyers, uh, based on that most recent communication, uh, if you could just stick around. If there's another communication within the next um, window of opportunity, uh, I will entertain that. If there's not, I will give you direction about um, relaxing. Okay. We will be in the little conference room right outside. Judge. All right. Let's uh, we're in recess until another communication. Thank you. All right. Back again, Jeff Hellinger with Jessica Gable, the Associate Professor of Law, Georgia State, and the College of Law. So the jury came back with a couple of questions. The lawyers reconvened. There you see the prosecution right now as they uh, are smiling, waiting for...